posterior approach to the acetabular injuries that is a Papalangan approach. It's a workhouse for all posterior acetabular injuries. The indications where we use this uh, L approach is posterior column, posterior wall, transverse fractures, which is opened out more posteriorly, transverse with posterior wall, a T shape and bi column fractures. And dear friends, this is a video how I do it on a patient. So this is a case which is having a posterior wall with a subluxation of the hip. Iliopectineal iliation lines are good, but the posterior wall line is disturbed, and you can see a piece which is posterior there. Here in the 2D CT scan, you can very well see that the head is dislocated, and you can see a piece of bone which is outside, which is very well seen on the 3D CT scan. All these pieces with dislocation of the femoral head. Now, I usually start this procedure in a lateral position. It can be done in a prone position, but I am used to do this in the lateral position. The skin incision starts from PSI, just distal to PSI, 7 to 8 centimeters, onto the trochanter, almost uh, anterior two thirds with posterior one third, and extend down almost 6 to 7 centimeters onto the lateral aspect of the shaft, shaft of the femur. This has you have to deepen up to the gluteus maximus. The insertion of gluteus maximus into the uh, IT band has to be cut and then you have to split the gluteus maximus till you see the proximal neurovascular bundle. Your limitation of splitting of the gluteus maximus is the proximal neurovascular bundle. When you split it, then you can use a channelless clamp when you are putting a channelless clamp, you have to abduct the hip so that you can get a very good exposure. Many times, if the injury you have to go a little bit distal, you have to cut the insertion of gluteus maximus onto the trochanter. So this insertion once you cut, you get, sometimes you get a very bad bleeding, you have to cauterize it. Now, the next step is identification of rotators. You see the side is not in the depth of the wound, and the three, four rotators from the top to bottom is piriformis, the, the gamela superior, obturator internus, gamela inferior, and quadratus femoris. Now, you have to cut the sutures one by one or through the rotators, leaving the quadratus femoris. Don't touch the quadratus femoris. The reason being that the circumflex vessel, the supply to the head of the femur is underneath the quadratus femoris. So pyriformis and all the rotators are, they are sutured or they are stacked. Sutures are taken just lateral to the uh, insertion of this uh, 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 rotators. Now you have to, uh, you see the dislocated head and once you get dislocated, you have to distract the joint, take out the loose pieces from the joint. If they are articular, you have to realign these pieces and give a thorough wash in the joint to take out all the debris from the joint. So this way, you take, uh, do the distraction and you can definitely take a thorough wash to take out the debris. See for the quality of the femoral head. Sometimes you will see the indentations onto the femoral head. You relocate the femoral head, get a, dis, uh, get a reduction. Now the next step is you identify the wall fragments, identify where it is from on the column, and now with a scraper you have to scoop out the ends of the wall fragments as far as possible. Don't devitalize these fragments by taking out the soft tissues. You have to keep the soft tissues in place. This is a communicated posterior wall fragments which are placed after reduction of the femoral head. Once you put this fragment, you temporarily fix them with a the A wire. Then counter the plate with a template and put the plate onto these fragments and start passing the screws from the column fixing this uh, uh, wall fragments. 
the screw direction the screw should be towards the greater sciatic notch that will prevent your screws going into the joint my way of knowing whether the uh, screws are in the joint is that i just pass the drill and make a drill hole then i take smaller size k wire put into the uh, pre drill hole and then hip is moved in all directions if the uh, uh, wire moves that means your your implant is in the joint so change the direction of the screws and then pass the screw in the fashion towards the greater sciatic notch this is the way you can put the screw see my finger is always into the greater sciatic notch directing the screws as well as protecting next thing when you are doing this surgery your knee has to be always flexed and hip extended to release the tension onto the sciatic nerve the retraction of the sciatic nerve has to be with your fingers i usually don't use any nerve retractors which may cause prevention of the uh, we cause a uh, sciatic nerve injury so this is the way the screws are passed this is the uh, the screw through the plate fixing the major wall fragments and the remaining screws are passed proximally and distally the distal screw should go in the direction of ischio pubic ramus which is the longest screw in that area which holds the fragments in better position so then you pass the proximal screws the direction should be away from the joint always away from the joint so that you don't penetrate the joint that's the way the tail approach is done do a thorough wash and then test for the stability if you are happy then start repairing or uh, closing the wound on a negative suction this is a post op x-ray which shows it is a interfragmentary neutralized with screw with a very good concentric tip the one year follow up of the patient and this is a function of the patient at the end of one year so dear friends if you want to do a kl approach very important steps cutting the sutures or cutting the external retractors 1 cm lateral to the near insertion number 2 flex the knee flex the hip when you are doing this approach to release the side no? number 3 you should not touch the quadratus femoris number 4 the previous maximus insertion if you need it has to be cut from the insertion onto the top thank you thanks for the patience here